Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify algebraic expressions using the distributive property. Now, the distributive property can help us remove parentheses within algebraic expressions. If we have unlike terms within parentheses, we can't combine them. We use the distributive property to remove the parentheses, and then we can continue to simplify if possible. In this video, we will just work on removing the parentheses. There won't be any like terms to combine. Once we get the distributive property down, we can build on that and simplify more complicated expressions that involve the distributive property and combining like terms. Now remember, when we have something next to parentheses, that means multiplication. So we can use the distributive property to distribute whatever is on the outside of the parentheses to the terms inside the parentheses. The distributive property works when we have addition or subtraction inside of the parentheses. Let's jump into number one where we have nine and then three C plus two in the parentheses. Let's distribute that nine to the three C and to the two. So we have nine times three C, which is 27 C plus, so we bring that addition sign down and then we have nine times two, which is 18. So we end up with 27 C plus 18. Now we don't have any like terms that we can combine. So this has been simplified. We can't simplify any further. So again, 27 C plus 18. Let's move on to number two, where we have four and then in parentheses, negative six Y minus five. Let's distribute that four to the negative six Y and to the five. So four times negative six Y is negative 24 Y. Bring the subtraction sign down and then we have four times five, which is 20. So we end up with negative 24 Y minus 20. We don't have any like terms that we can combine. So this is simplified. Again, negative 24 Y minus 20. Now I do wanna mention another way to think through number two, and this is an option when we have subtraction. So let me rewrite the expression here. And then we need to distribute the four. So distribute to the negative six Y. And then when we distribute to the five, we are going to look at this as negative five. So we are including that subtraction sign the sign in front of the five and look at this as negative five. This gives us, well, four times negative six Y is negative 24 Y. And then four times negative five is negative 20. So we get negative 24 Y minus 20 that way as well. So we get the same thing either way, just slightly different as far as working through the distributive property. Let's move on to number three, where we have negative two, and then in parentheses, negative eight X minus seven Y. Let's distribute the negative two to the negative eight X and to seven Y. So negative two times negative eight X gives us 16 X. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So negative two times negative eight is a positive 16, and then we have that X. Then we can bring down the subtraction sign, and then we have negative two times seven Y. That gives us negative 14 Y. Now this is correct, but we can clean this up a little bit, so to speak. We have a double sign, the subtraction and then the negative. We don't need both of those signs. We can rewrite it with just one. Think about working with negatives. When we subtract a negative, that's the same as adding a positive. We can change this to addition and that will make this simpler and like I said, clean it up a little bit. We can rewrite this as 16 X plus 14 Y. We don't have any like terms that we can combine. 
So we are simplified again, 16x plus 14y. Just like number two, I'll go through this a slightly different way as far as thinking through the distributive property when it comes to subtraction. I will rewrite the expression off to the side here. And then we can distribute that negative two to the negative eight X. And then we can distribute that negative two to the negative seven Y. So we are including that sign in front of the term. Negative two times negative eight X gives us 16 X. And then negative two times negative seven Y gives us a positive 14 Y. So plus 14 Y. So we get the same thing there as well. Lastly, let's move on to number four, where we have 15 and then 3G plus H in the parentheses. So let's distribute that 15 to the 3G and to the H. So we have 15 times 3G, that gives us 45G plus, and then 15 times H, well, that's just 15H. So we end up with 45G plus 15H. We don't have any like terms that we can combine, so we can't simplify this any further. This is simplified. So again, 45G plus 15H. So there you have it. There's how to simplify algebraic expressions by using the distributive property. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.